Hello and welcome to Space Engine. So this is a direct response to Smarter Every Day on the How to Watch the Eclipse video. See, I was actually very excited when you made this video because, well, I actually already have a video on this. Uh, not really as defined as what you what was pointed out in that video, as in like each section of the eclipse. I didn't really know about that. That was actually really cool to learn. But I do actually have a video of this event happening this year, but. It's actually all kind of in this engine or this game. I wouldn't really call it a game. It's just kind of more of a scientific tool at this point. It's supposed to be a game in the future. But if you have not heard of Space Engine, I highly recommend that you go and download this because this application is amazing. Now, it is incredibly accurate. It procedurally generates basically an entire universe for you to explore, including worlds that you could actually go and land on, such as Earth. Now, Earth is not heavily detailed like you would see on Google Maps or anything like that. But it does actually have some kind of terrain feature and terrain accuracy. Now, I can go ahead and just disable the clouds here. And there's the sun. And there's the moon. Now, currently it is August 21st, and as you can see, the moon is close to the sun. But the problem is, the moon appears to completely miss the sun on this date in this game. Allow me to show you. So there's the moon right there. Now, I'm going to have it actually eclipse the sun. I should be able to actually reverse time and get it to pass through. Nope, we're actually going forward in time. And we'll get it close to the eclipse, which would be right about here, and if we actually line up our eclipse, it misses Earth completely, unfortunately, because Space Engine actually has inaccuracies in the... I don't know, somewhere in, in the positioning between Earth and the Sun. And there's the Large Magellanic Cloud. So we can't quite get it to actually fully eclipse viewed from Earth on this date, unfortunately. But since I've done the video on this before, I actually have the date that it actually happens in Space Engine. It also happens in the wrong location, but it does happen. So give me just a moment. Here we are on the moon. And you can see that the sun is fully illuminating the side of the moon that we actually can't see usually. Now what's cool about this game is planets that are higher resolution than like Earth for example, you could actually go down and physically see each crater. They're actually three-dimensional. So that's very cool. Now in the game it's currently July 23rd, the ninth hour, and that is when the solar eclipse happens in the game. So it's not perfectly accurate to what you would expect in real life for example, since it's going to happen August 21st I do believe. But you can actually see the shadow on the planet itself, and I could even turn on the clouds, and you can see that it actually darkens clouds and everything too. So let's go ahead and land over here. As you can see, there's actually city lights because it's assuming it's nighttime right there. Land. Look at that, you can actually see the eclipse. It's not quite perfect yet, but if you zoom all the way in by decreasing your field of view like a telescope, you can actually see each individual hill on the moon effect. To actually zoom in in Space Engine, what you do is use left shift and then you left click and just move your mouse up and down. You could actually zoom in like a telescope. And as you get your camera closer and closer to the moon, it should actually uh, increase in detail. Now I think it's really cool that you could actually observe this in this game, these individual mountains, because what that means is we might actually be able to see Bailey's beads as shown in the video. So let's go ahead and reset our field of view and let's move over a little bit to our left. This is going to take some uh, fine tuning for me, but I'm going to try to get this perfect. Okay, so I'm slowly moving. As you can see, there's actually aliasing, which is the kind of pixels, the saw edge, you can probably see it. I'm not really too sure if it'll actually show up in the video, but I'm also going to have to kind of counteract aliasing for my monitor. Now I am recording this in 1080p on a 1080p monitor, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. And there we go. I think we have it. I think that is actually what you would uh, kind of see when you see uh, Bailey's beads, which is the sun poking through like each individual hill on the moon. What I could do to actually dramatize this effect is possibly turn up the bloom in the game. And there we go. Check that out. You can actually physically see Bailey's beads. 
just trying to zoom out too much, but you actually see the sun kind of poking through, and you can see each individual mountain just kind of illuminated. The fact that you could actually just simulate in a video game. Okay, so now I've moved over just a little bit more, and this, I believe, is C3, if I'm correct. The full solar eclipse. You cannot really see the sun behind the moon at all. Of course, the hills do still have a little bit of light on them. That's just the nature of video games, typically. If there's, like, hills and bump mapping, the lighting tends to kind of pass through a little bit. I don't really know why, but this happens in many different games. So, <laughs> you're just going to kind of have to pretend that's actually not there. But there you go. That is a full solar eclipse right there. Sitting is... I can't really tell, but it's somewhere in South Africa, next to this little blob of light. And here's the exact time that I'm set at right here. So if you land right here at this exact time in Space Engine, you should be able to witness a full solar eclipse. Unfortunately though, I tried getting the diamond ring effect, and you can't really do that in Space Engine just because you're kind of depending on what is essentially a eclipse texture here and the bloom effect doesn't really make a diamond it's just kind of perfectly round so you can't really quite get that diamond effect because well we're not really looking through like a lens or anything so we can't quite do that unfortunately do something here what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to decrease my field of view similar to if you're actually traveling faster and you know moving close to the speed of light i want to decrease the field of view to where we could actually see a lot more and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit play and what this will do is make the moon obviously move across the sky or rather the earth spin and what that'll do is actually show us what's going on with the atmosphere now we can see space right now I don't think we would actually see space as well so I could turn auto exposure off to kind of get a more realistic view of what we'd actually be seeing during a solar eclipse now let's go ahead and hit play you see, you can kind of see that 360 sunrise effect going on right now. And I think that is the eclipse right there. Let's go ahead and speed up time a little bit so we can get kind of a time lapse of this going on. And see what effects it actually has on our atmosphere. So this is currently 30 times real time. As you can see up there. Well, it looks like Earth is spinning more than the moon's actually uh, moving. Speed this up a little bit more. This is 100 times real time. As you see, the shadow of the moon's actually traveling that way, it appears. And over there, it almost looks like a sunrise. So the eclipse is actually traveling away from us. And there goes the shadow of the moon, and it starts to get much brighter as we break away from the solar eclipse so now it's basically just a normal daytime sky of course i think i'm at a pretty high altitude so it looks a lot darker and there you go that's essentially the end of that solar eclipse it's like a game of cat and mouse almost and there you go you could actually see the uh solar eclipse just kind of pass by and you see the atmosphere dim and then lighten back up very cool now, I think it is very cool that this game could actually depict a solar eclipse like that. Go ahead and reverse time again. So we could just kind of watch that again. And if I recall right from one of my videos, I think this is Venus. And I think Mars. Nope, that's Mercury. It's a star. I think somewhere around here you could actually see Mars, if I'm correct. Uh, I might have to actually turn off the auto exposure. There we go, and I think that is actually Mars right there. Ah oh, yes, look at that, you can actually see Mars back there. Let's go ahead and fly over to it. And there's a really nice preview of Mars. Let's go get a little bit closer. Anyways, I just wanted to show you this really awesome game and how it could actually simulate a solar eclipse. Maybe that might be helpful for one of your future videos, I don't really know, but it's definitely an application I would try out. It's actually completely free and I'll have a website down in the description. Anyways, if you guys like the video, please subscribe and until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.